It is time for us to have story time. It is time for us to have story time. Read some books, sing some songs, we'll have fun all day long. It is time for us to have story time. Well, hello there. My name is Miss Tammy, and I'm from the Ramster Public Library. It's time for us to have story time. Are you ready? Great, let's sing our song again. It is time for us to have story time. It is time for us to have story time. Read a book, sing some songs, we'll have fun all day long. It is time for us to have story time. Yeehaw! Well, hello there. I hope you're doing well. I have Stanley here with me today. And as you can see, he is all dressed up for today's story time. Can you guess what today's story time is going to be about? Hmm? Looks like Stanley has his head in the clouds. Did you guess clouds? You're exactly right. Stanley wanted to dress up like a cloud for story time, so I thought I'd put some puffy clouds on my shirt and we would be ready for our cloud story time today. I'm so excited. But before we do that, let's look at our days of the week chart. Are you ready? All right, let me get it. Get our cute little caterpillar chart. Ta-da! Who remembers what this word is? D-A-Y-S. Days, you're exactly right. There are seven days in one week. Let's say the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, let's sing our days of the week song. Stanley, can you hold this for me? Let's see if we can get it up there. All right, here we go. Five fingers on one hand. Two on the other. Uh-oh, Stanley. You dropped it. Get your head out of the clouds. All right, let's try now. All right, five fingers on one hand, two on the other. Five plus two equals seven. Very good. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job, Stanley. Fist bump. Boom. I'll take that. We have another chart we've been working on. Do you remember? Colors. We have our cute little koala bear down here, and he's holding a bunch of balloons with a lot of different colors. Let's see, who knows what that one is? Red. You're exactly right. What about that one? Blue. Y'all are so smart. How about this one? Yellow. That's right. How about that one? Brown, very good. How about that one? I think we missed that one. Green, good job. And that one, white. How about that one? Mm, I heard it, purple. And this one right here, orange, good job. And this one right here, Black, very good. Y'all did great. Do you have a favorite color? What's your favorite color? Oh, my daughter's, her favorite color is red. Then I have another daughter, her favorite color is blue. And then I have another daughter, her favorite color is purple. And my son, I would say his probably his favorite color is blue. So we all have favorite colors, different favorite colors. All right, that is our color chart. Okay, before we read our book on clouds, 
I have a new song I'm going to teach you, okay? It goes to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. All right, y'all know that song? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. Oh, yeah, I know y'all know that song. But this one is I'm a Little Cloud. And when we do I'm a Little Cloud, we're going to do like this, like we're like a puffy cloud. And where's, where are clouds usually at? In the sky. And it says, you can find me way up high. So reach, 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 reach. And it says, sometimes I'm puffy. So do puffy like this. And it's and I like to do like this. Puff your, puff your uh, cheeks out. Sometimes I'm puffy. Sometimes I'm stretched out. Because sometimes we'll see fluffy, fluffy, puffy clouds like kind of like, like Stanley's head, and sometimes they're stretched out clouds. And I just like to float about. So whenever you're outside, it's so much fun to look at the clouds floating by. So, all right, let's try to do our song. Here we go. I'm a little cloud in the sky. You can't find me way up high. Sometimes I'm puffy, sometimes I'm stretched out. I just love to float about. Did you like that one? Okay, let's see if we can do it again. All right, here we go. I'm a little cloud in the sky. You can't find me way up high. Sometimes I'm puffy. Sometimes stretched out, I just love to float about. Good job! You did great with that! Stanley, you did great too! Do you like to watch the clouds float by? Oh yeah, that's fun to do. Okay, our book today is Cloud It. Alright, see Cloud It? Shall we start at the back of the book? No, we should start at the front. And the author of this book is T Tom Lichtenheld. And the publisher is Henry Holt and Company. Thank you, Henry Holt, for letting us read the book. All right, who can tell me what this page is called? Title page. Good job. You did great. All right. Cloud it was a cloud. A very small cloud. Oh, she's just a little bitty cloud. Usually cloud it didn't mind being smaller than the average cloud. In fact, being small had lots of advantages. Everyone called her cute little names. Let's see, this one says, Morning, small fry. Hey, shortcake. Hi, pipsqueak. So she had all of her friends, and they called her cute little names. And she had lots of little friends. What is her friends? Kite and a bird. And a squirrel. And they said, hey, guys, what's up? Us. <laughs> and the squirrel said, that's nutty. No matter how crowded it was, she could always find a good spot to watch fireworks. See, she squeezed her way in right there. And she could sneak through tight places. She got between the two giraffes. Hide in small places. See, she's stuck right there between the skyscraper, skyscraper, skyscrapers. The birds are there playing hide and go seek. I can't find her anywhere. Me either. And then she's going, tee hee 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 hee. And she even had a special little space that always made her feel cozy at night. Where did she sleep at night? Uh, looks like she's sleeping on the moon. 
But once in a while, all the other clouds would run off to do something big and important. Come on, Cloudette. Join our cold front. We're going to make a huge storm. Yeah, we're going to water some crops. And make, and make some mighty rivers flow. See, they're all going off. And Cloudette says... No, thanks. I'll just watch from here. Cloudette could see them in the distance doing all sorts of important cloud things. This made her want to do big and important things, too. See those other clouds? They made lots of rain. Look, there's a rainbow. She wanted to make a garden grow. She wanted to make a brook babble. She wanted to make a waterfall fall. And she thought nothing would be more fun than giving some kids a day off from school. Aw. One night, Cloudette lay awake wondering what she could do that was big and important. There she is. On the moon again, look. There's the cow. I guess he's jumping over the moon, too. She thought maybe she could work for the fire department. But they said, sorry, we just got a brand new pumper truck. Or maybe they needed some help down at the garden center. They said, sorry, these plants take tons of water. But somebody seemed to need, but nobody, nobody seemed to need her. Oh, look, here's the laundry, uh, the car wash. And it says, sorry, it's all done by machines. Oh, look at poor little Cloudette. Cloudette was feeling blue. Oh, no. The next day, there was a big storm in Cloudette's neighborhood. The sky got dark. The rain came down like cats and dogs, and the blue wind blew harder than she'd ever seen wind blow before. Oh, no, they had a big storm. When the storm finally stopped, Cloudette realized she'd been blown far from her neighborhood. She didn't know anyone here. She goes, hello, hi, howdy, how you doing? Look, she thought she was talking to clouds, but it's smoke coming from that chimney. <laughs> and they didn't seem eager to get to know her. Oh no. But pretty soon she was making new friends and seeing things she'd never seen before. Welcome to our neck of the woods, small fry. What a cute little cumulus. Have you seen our new pal? Barely. <laughs> the bear said barely. Then she heard something she'd never heard before. Ribbit. What says ribbit? What's, what's on the next page? What do you think? A frog! Frogs say ribbit. She looked down at what was supposed to be a pond, but was really just a puddle of mud. What happened to your pond, froggy? It dried up, and now it's more like a puddle than a pond. Oh no, poor little pond. Poor little froggy lost his pond. And now he's just kind of sitting in the puddle. But... Cloudette had a brainstorm, actually. All right, let's see. She held her breath, and she started to puff up all over. Then she turned a nice blue-gray color. She kept growing until it looked like she was ready to burst. Oh, my goodness, what's going to happen? She shook her behind until it made a little rumbling sound. 
Not quite what you call thunder, but enough to let people know they might want to grab an umbrella. Then she did what she wanted to do for years. Oh my goodness, what's she gonna do? until it grew into a big puddle and then she kept on raining until that big puddle grew into a perfect pond as soon as she stopped frogs of every stripe and spot came jumping into the pond oh my goodness they're so happy they're all hopping 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 jumping into the pond that cloudette made they all let out a big thank you in unison. Ribbit! Cloudette was exhausted but happy. Look, there's some little words way down there. Can you see it? Thank you in frog. It's got a little asterisk beside of it. And we look up here beside that word. That's the asterisk and it tells you what that means. Ribbit is thank you in frog. Even the higher-ups were impressed, which got her thinking. They said, nice work, Cloudy. Yeah, way to water. Prodigious precipitation, Pipsqueak. That was some righteous rain. We knew you had it in you. So she started thinking, and I'll bet there are other big and important things a little cloud can do. So, let's see. And off she went. Ah, uh, the end. Oh, uh, then she went to... It looks like she's raining over a river. Do the kids can have a pond to swim in. Ah, uh, the end. Did you like Cloudette? I love this book. I think this is such a cute book. Okay, for today, your craft is, if you haven't come by and picked up your craft packet, come by and pick up your craft pack and look inside the bag, the baggie, and find the one that looks like this, okay? Has these parts in it, all right? And when you get it out, this is what you'll have the parts to make. A little cloud man. Here is your cloud face. And on your eyes and a nose and a mouth. And there's little pieces of blue paper in there. Two short ones and two long ones. And they're already folded up for you to make his arms and legs. So he has in this hand raindrops, in this hand a lightning bolt, and he has two cloud feet, and he has two circles to make him some little rosy cheeks. So, oh, no, I didn't fold them up for you. So there's two pieces of paper in here, and you will fold them like a fan. You'll go one way, and then the other. You'll be working your fine motor skills. There you go, and then it looks like a little springy like that i hope you have fun making that i've had fun with you today it's time to say goodbye are you ready stanley okay let's sing our goodbye song it's time to say goodbye to all my friends it's time to say goodbye to all my friends give a smile and wink an eye it is time to say goodbye it is time to say goodbye to all my friends. All right, let's do it one more time. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Give a smile. Let me see you smile. Oh, y'all have such pretty smiles. And a wink and eye. Can you do that? It is time to say goodbye. 
It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Thanks for your help, Stanley. You did a great job. Fist bump. Boom. Bye-bye. See you later.